Here, uh, we show you an unprotected machine with no firewall, no security structure in place. The machine is going to receive an attack now directly on a level one and starting the attack right now. And look at the screen that Mark is sharing with you. You can see that CPU's age is going to increase and we should see uh, <clears throat> some requests going to the access log. Uh, and as you can see, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a search attack. We're just searching for random strings on the, on the WordPress and uh, <clears throat> the CPU's age, it's already at 100%. We see that the load average there was before zero. Now it's uh, reaching five, which means that uh, the queue for processing is already five times the amount of resources the server has to process. Uh, the website still is available. Uh, you can see that on the log, you see the 200 response code, which means the website is available, but it's going to take more time to open than usual. Uh, that kind of attack is usually used just to uh, deplete the resources they from the server and maybe uh, uh, affect the experience of the people visiting the website. So if you have, for example, an e-commerce, uh, people may give up on purchasing your products because the website is low. You can see that there is no load there. Uh, the the access log shows no requests coming there. So now I'm going to be launching the attack against the machine and I'm going to launch now. Uh, we should see a, a load time uh, really fast because the firewall is actually uh, handling this kind of request. We are receiving 00, zero response code, which means we are not able to connect because well, the firewall you, blocked it. You're being blacklisted from the entire network now. Yeah. Exactly. The machine is still, is still running fine. The attack's not going through because the firewall is stopping. The client, unless they check their, their firewall logs, they would have never known that it happened.